So we got a lot on the docket today. You dropped a video this week. People are happy about. Finally, finally, you got through Twin Flames. Okay, so what are these comments? So the one that I wanted to get your take on is this. It's not a popular comment, but somebody said you were victim blaming, and it was so uninformed. And somebody asked to uh, ask them to enlighten us, and this person said. No, if you're going to spend the time reporting, quote unquote, on cults, at some point you might encounter some survivors and you might reconsider the stance you take in regard to judging them. This video is clearly not for educational purposes, rather to indulge a sense of entitlement and grandiosity. (laughs) Have a nice day. The thing about victim blaming is, look, we're in the United States. We have freedom of religion. Mm -hmm. Someone can get up on a soapbox and say that they are the second coming of Christ or whatever. And it's Mm -hmm. up to the people to be like, you are full of shit and move past them. And if they don't, as according to our laws, there's nothing the authorities can do about it. You are stuck in it. Yeah. I feel like the people who say like, there are definitely people who kind of go to the other side of victim blaming where you're like, all right, yeah, relax. But I think for the most part, you're, you're having fun with some very stupid decisions. Some people made yeah. and the people who call out victim blaming in that instance tend to be humorless uh, kids. Or they got caught in a cult and they're ashamed of it. <laughs> I think and most you have of the to be people, able to laugh at yourself. Yeah, I think most people who come at me for the Rate My Cults are in that cult. Ah, uh, yeah. Because otherwise people are like, oh, this is really informative. Because they actually mm. go through how you can prevent becoming a victim. Right. That's what the Rate My Cult is for. It's the same people who say you can't fat shame people. Oh, I I fat shame. I fat shame myself. Mm-hmm. And as far as victim blaming goes, like you can live in two kinds of world. The wo- world where absolutely nothing is your fault and there's some things that aren't your fault. Yeah. But there's a world where you do have agency and you can control stuff. And that's the world I live in, especially with religion in the United States. You have agency. Mm-hmm. So it's not really victim blaming. It's just saying, here's the stupid mistake you made. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like I, I work out with some people and if they're looking fat, I tell them. <laughs> because I know they're trying not to look fat. I mean, you got to and you got to tell people the truth. One of the best things I remember cuz my mom did for me is I gained my freshman 15. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, "You're looking fat." And I was I was so hurt. I was so hurt for about a weekend, but then I was like, "You know what? My clothes don't fit me right anymore." Right. She's right. I've put on weight. I need to take it off. <laughs> Your dad did the same thing. I My dad came and visited us in October. That baby was 5 weeks old. Mm-hmm. And he gets off the plane. The first thing he says to me is like, You're, you put on weight. You got to take it off. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't even work out yet. Because I'm still like, the doctor says I can't even work out yet. But he like, was, no. You, you come from very pragmatic off. people. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not about your feelings. Like, that's the nicest thing people can really say to you is be honest and be like, I know you can look better. Mm-hmm. You usually do. But then my stepmom was like, give her a break. She just had a baby. <laughs> she had a baby 20 minutes ago. She can't even like walk up a flight of stairs yet. Yeah, that's funny. But yeah, I, I wanted your take on the victim blaming thing because it is. It's. I. I feel like you should kind of. If you get sucked into a cult, there there is some blame to be placed upon yourself. And if you can't accept blame in yourself in that instance, yeah, you probably don't take responsibility for yourself in any, in any instance. instance at all. Like you don't think that people should have to take responsibility for themselves. See, this is where it's not uninformed. We're coming up on a difference of ideologies. Like mm-hmm. We basically approach the world differently. This person is projecting their ideology as if it's fact. Right. And I'm, I don't feel I'm doing anything. I'm just like, this is what this is. Mm-hmm. And then the only time where I judge it is the arbitrary judgment I give to all of these. Yeah. Because, like, you can't give someone a goat's head rating. Like, that's absurd. <laughs> of course, this is arbitrary. You can't say how much Christ a person's religion has. Yeah. The idea of rating a cult is in itself kind of absurd. So, yeah. And this is how you kind of sort through, you know, smart people with a sense of humor, people with a sense of humor, and people who are midwits with no sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And,. There's so many midwits out there. In fact, there's probably more midwits. There's more midwits than incredibly dumb people or incredibly smart people. Right. It's that graph. Yeah. By volume, there's just going to be so many of them. Yeah. Well, if anybody would like to chime in, it's on the comment section of the Twin Flames video because I might I might clip this for YouTube so we could talk about victim blaming in conversations around cults. And what instance do you think? Are there any instances where you're like, no, you, you really can't 
blame those people for getting sucked into that cult. Some of these cults are fantastic. Heaven's Gate. You well, that's part gotten of your rating me. system. Yeah. yeah, you could have gotten me with Heaven's oh, Gate. Oh, I would have been all in on Heaven's Gate. Yeah, I hope you wouldn't have caught your balls off. Mm-hmm. But Heaven's Gate, that is still what I judge yeah. every other cult against. Dude, Jim Jones was a great capital G great man. Yeah, and I would have been sucked into a Jim Jones circle. I don't. I pro. I would hope I wouldn't have gone all the way. To but Guyana? Jim Jones, like personally uh desegregated what was it memphis like yeah. he was a great civil rights leader and he j- he he got the messianic complex it took him away yeah and the same thing with father divine uh, father divine that was a solid call yeah i mean they didn't they didn't reproduce right but at a certain point no matter what you're doing you should have the you should be able to be like what am i doing right in this moment because even still with like the political parties, you can say political parties are stupid. Someone commented that, you know, Democratic and Republican parties are cults to a certain extent. And I'm like, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you that, especially right now under Trump. And he's mm-hmm. like kind of a cult leader. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, but sometimes you have to get caught in the group in order to be most powerful because we're most powerful together. So sometimes you need a social movement. You need a group. Right. And there are cult aspects overlapping to that. But you got to be like, well, cost benefit analysis, we're stronger together. I'm just going to go along with it. Mm-hmm. So at the same time, same way that people go to like a Baptist church, and don't believe in any of this stuff. It's just like, well, together, you know, we can do more charity. We can do all this other stuff. So what if he walked on water? He didn't. Yeah, I think I, and you have and I do have a lot of I understand people who get caught up in certain movements because you get really like black pilled about the world where you're like me as an individual, I can't make a difference. The only way to make a difference is in big groups of people. And the problem is the big groups of people capable of making a difference are often have some serious problems. Oh, they're all, they're all going to have serious problems. The thing about a lot of these cults is that at the top tier, they're very toxic. But once you kind of filter down, Mm -hmm. they are actually bringing people together, are actually helping people. Yeah. So it's just, are, is it more harm than good? Right. I don't know. Twin Flames was not doing more good than harm. No, that was the goofiest <laughs> cult. I think that they are doing a paint by numbers cult, make money. Like, I think that they're just in it for the paycheck. At least he is. Right. And then she's going along with it because she clearly likes nice things. Yeah. I, I don't consider these people like any tier of a cult. Well, they got even, two goat heads. Yeah. Even before you you were doing your YouTube, we were kind of obsessed with the Aaron Dowdies and the oh my God. pseudo new age nonsense on YouTube. I love that. Direct Currents. Everyone go follow Direct Currents. Beg Direct Currents to come back. I hear he's <laughs> uh, on Mount Everest. It's uh, DC Irvin's comedy, uh, DC Irvin comedy YouTube. Yeah, That's I where hear. we did the Direct Currents character. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that that's a, a type of person. And that's a type of person, one who starts it. And then there's another type who will get a big YouTube and be like, you know what? This must mean I'm Jesus. <laughs> Everybody comes back to thinking they might be Jesus. Right. Which is fantastic. Yeah. But even like the Twin Flames guy, what's his name? Uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. Even like Jeff, it felt like every time I saw him talk about being Jesus, it didn't feel like he actually thought about himself being Jesus. It felt like he was like, he had a checklist of things he's supposed to do to get where he wants to go and being Jesus or presenting himself as Jesus was one of those things. Oh yeah. Cause they'll give you money. Religious people will give you their money because yeah. they, it's, I, I don't know if it's programmed to them like tithing, mm-hmm. but it's not weird to ask them for money. Right. Whereas someone else, a secular person, one would be ashamed to ask for just straight up give me cash or give me a percentage of your income. That's crazy. Right. Um, but also, I don't know really if if there's the blueprint for it to, to be asked. Whereas with church people, yeah, they have tithing. It's very common to give them money. So. Well, this is the uh, Maya's um, Patreon podcast. So if I clip this, if you want more of this, it's on my Muses Patreon. Yeah, and I would put it on YouTube, but we like get really out of pocket on this. Yeah, there's so. a lot of stuff we can't put on YouTube. Yeah, and we shouldn't, and we shouldn't put that into people's uh, <laughs> people's brains. <laughs>